Did you ever wonder why tap and die sets come in these plastic trays, just rubbing against each other? Well, without one, this is what happens. Of course, a responsible thing to do would be to chuck them in a bag and drown them, but I can't do that. They're just too cute. I think we need to use one in the project.
excuse me. I don't know if I'm the first person to produce a knurled brass HDMI connector, but I do know that I like it. Knurled finish, and milled from a solid chunk of brass. But for this to really be luxurious, there's one more thing we should definitely add. Hot glue! Admittedly, it now looks awful, but we can hide our sins by using these clamps. With a heat gun set to just hot enough to melt the glue, but not hot enough to melt anything else, the monstrosity disappears and no one will ever have to know. Well, this is about as terrible as we expected. The DDC is running at 100 kilohertz, that's 10 kilobytes per second. It takes one kilobyte to update the display, so the theoretical maximum frame rate is 10 FPS. And we're not even getting that. I did update the driver so that it only sends the changes of each frame, but for this, not really making much difference. The graininess is the dither, and if we turn that off, the frame rate goes up, but without it, it's even harder to see what you're doing. I think this is a door? Yep. Uh, are there bad guys? <laughs> there should be bad guys. I can't see anything. Ah, enough. I'm not going to try and do the whole level. Here it is again with Dithwing turned off, just running the demo. It's not exactly an improvement. I've got to add, the new driver, for things like moving the mouse, actually works really well. Goodness, with this, suddenly it's almost useful.